So speak to this. The uh, president, Iran's president, arriving in Moscow the other day uh, to meet with Putin. Right well, after Putin just got back from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Kind of the yeah, Gog yeah, Magog. All the Gog Magog yeah. players of Zekel 3839. I was just about to say that. You took it out of my mouth, the words out of my mouth. I was just about to say that I think this is, again, the, the further evidence of that Gog-Magog coalition coming together, particularly with Russia and Iran. So Raisi, yeah, the Iranian president Raisi is in Russia meeting with uh, Putin and the Russian leadership. Uh, they're very overt. That's the, See, part of it is, is that th their overtness concerns me because of the fact that this is out in the open, right? I mean, just, just as we know that Iran supported and funded the October 7th attacks in Israel. We, we knew that, you know, on, on night one. And, 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 but, but what happens to them? When you have America as, as absolutely pitiful as we are in our, in our national security and in our defense. Uh, I was just covering tonight on my show, Brandon, that the Justice Department is more focused on announcing that their task force for reproductive rights, i.e. abortion, the Justice Department is more worried about going after pro-life uh, Christians and uh, pro-life advocates than they are actually fighting jihadism and terrorism in this nation, i.e. the Muslim Brotherhood. I don't know if you and Osama covered the headline that uh, of Nihad Awad. Did you guys cover that? Yeah, we, played the, we, we just played the audio clip of him saying that Israel has no right to defend itself, that the leader but, of care. But, more importantly, right, more importantly, it's not just Israel. You and I have been saying this. They're saying that because they're occupiers, anybody who is Jewish and anybody that is a Zionist. So, again, if you support Israel and you're not Jewish, so this is opening the floodgates to be able to say attacking Jews and attacking, quote unquote, Zionists is absolutely permissible because the moment you have now declared and, and, and the head of uh, uh, and, and CARES representative, this wasn't just Nihad Awad, they have several of the representatives across the country making speeches now declaring what the UN declared, that Israel does not have a right of self-defense, they're occupiers, so anybody that supports them, i.e. America, you're occupiers, ah, we can attack you. And, and we justify. played uh, an imam from Delaware stating that the land is stolen, America's land is stolen, and we need to do whatever gets us to paradise, which we know is jihad. Let me ask you uh, a question I was talk talking about thinking about, and I talked to uh, Annie about it. I forgot to ask you, Sama, but I'll ask you. I was thinking tonight about the fact that we have, you know, 10 to 12,000 people a day now pouring over the border. They're coming from all over the place, a lot, a lot of Islamic nations, but a lot of them are coming from uh, uh, nations where the people are Catholic, Hispanics, Central America, South America, where these people, a lot of them, you know, I don't know what percentage, but a percentage of them are probably Catholic. Would you agree with that? A percentage, I think, that yes, that, that, would be, that would be true. Okay, yes. so here's my concern. What happens when you bring more people into the U.S. who are considered, quote, Christians by the view of Islam, and so now you've filled up the country with more people that are Christians or Catholics, Protestants and Catholics, you filled them up the country up with more, and then you bring in more illegal aliens that are jihadis, aren't you just asking for trouble? For, the, for, in other words, a massive religious war to break out? <laughs> um, yeah, that, I mean, that's a very good point. I, I hadn't thought about that aspect of it, that, that if you're allowing those to come in who are, quote unquote, representing Christianity, which, of course, we know that most Catholics do not. But, but, but the fact that that's the view, right, is that when Muslims look at America or they look at Christianity, they see Catholicism. They see much of Catholic. They don't, they, most Muslims do not truly understand evangelicalism. They don't understand a biblical they view. They see us of, all as the same. They see us all as the same. And so when they see that, that then gives fodder to the fact that this is a corrupt uh, uh, country, that this jahiliya is a term they use for unbelievers. This is, they're corrupt. Uh, these Christians are corrupted. The Catholics are corrupted. They've all, they've all, they have all corrupted the word of God that they claim, you know, they're the final messengers of. And so, yes, it makes it a more tempting target, right? Because to bring down that corrupt nation, to bring down what they believe to be the polytheists, right? Because they believe we worship three gods. That would certainly be an interesting aspect of, of that the, the, the people behind the scenes are setting up 
that type of holy war, or at least justification. Just like they have justification to attack Israel and the Jews, now they would have justification to attack America because it's a Christian nation, supposedly, and look how corrupt the Christians are. Because, of course, most Catholics we know do not espouse to anything that is biblical in regards to um, uh, if, you know, the gospel and what salvation is. Certainly Pope Francis does it. Certainly the <laughs> Marxist Pope does not, exactly. Here, here, the exactly Jesuit right. Marxist Pope. Here is, Bened- exactly. uh, here is Putin uh, now welcoming, um, here he is welcoming. Raisi. Yeah, yeah right there. Raisi. Boom. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, and, and, again, and, and, all of this is happening right after October 7th when we know I, Iran has played some role and knew this was all going to happen. I don't care what I, they say. There seems to be overwhelming evidence. But we not only have that going on, now let's take a look at this. This is reportedly the uh, – you tell me if you agree with this. Um, the, 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 this gentleman says that the figure whom Putin salutes first, a slightly bent-over man wearing a golden clothes, is the king of Saudi Arabia, Stalin bin – however you say his name, born in 1935. He's semi-retired, but the fact he comes out to greet Putin is a big deal, this guy is saying on social media. I I have not verified that that's who the older gentleman is. I have no reason to doubt it. But again, here he is. Putin has been working with the folks in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Again, I think strengthening BRICS and and dumping the U.S. dollar is the world reserve petrodollar. But there you go. What do you make of this? I agree with you 100% that this is all staging for the fact that the Saudis are... This is what troubled me for so long is because so many will continue to claim that Saudi is our ally, but the Saudis are not our allies. Um, And I I think you're absolutely right that uh, they're revering Putin because things are shifting on the the world stage. The the IMF is going to move from uh, to dumping the dollar uh, we already see India. We already see, of course, Russia. We see Brazil. We see part of the BRICS nations all moving towards accepting. Uh, you know, uh, the Saudis are accepting rupees from the from the Indians. They're accepting rubles from the Russians. All and remember, all of their currency is gold backed. While we have this fiat currency and preparing to go to our CBDC, which we already have the Fed now uh, in in existence. So um, the 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 gesturing that is there. The Saudis have completely dissed the United States uh, because of the current administration, because they know the United States is going downhill fast. They're they're moving away. The dollar will soon be dumped. Uh, It's just a matter of when that they will dump it as the reserve currency. And the Saudis are hedging their bets. They know because this is still Islam, right? Let's not forget, though, the Saudis and the Iranians fight. They're still representing Islam. We know that allegiance is going to be there with with, with the Russia as part of that Gog Magog to come against Israel. So I think, again, everything is lining up in that sense. It's very disconcerting for America, though. 